Good morning, my name is Sayla and I am so excited to welcome you to our Music Camp 2018 production of Danny and the Shack. It's been a busy and fun-filled week at Music Camp. We had auditions on Sunday and all week we've been memorizing scripture, practicing music, acting scenes, learning dances, making scenery, um, playing instruments, using technology, and even doing jumping jacks and burpees, and we are not even tired. <laughs> Through all these things, we have learned to have courage because God is with us. He can do the impossible. And we want to say a big thank you to the pastors, the parents, and all the volunteers that helped make Music Camp possible. Enjoy the show! Attention, warriors! Babylon Strong! Forward, march, march, two, three, four, march, two, three, four, march, two, three, four, march, two, three, four, company halt! friends will continue to face a series of choices and these choices will change their lives will they choose to compromise their beliefs and follow the rules of babylon or will they choose to follow god
asked who will Danny and his friends bow to. In our story, some will face choices where they must physically bow. Others must choose who they will follow, serve, and worship. You'll see Danny and his friends face life or death decisions in the arena, the fire, and the den. But we are getting ahead of ourselves. Danny and his friends had just arrived at Babylon, having been captured by the Babylonians. And they soon realized life in Babylon was very, very different from life in Israel. <laughs> well, aren't you the strongest, best captives I've ever seen? Good for you. Welcome to Babylon. This is Helga, and she will give you a tour of our royal weight room where you will prepare for the Babylonian Warrior Challenge. Challenge? What challenge? You don't know? Well, I'm sure you'll love it. Helga will tell you all about it. In the meantime, I gotta go finish my workout. Time for lunches. Carry on, warriors. Babylon strong! Babylon, we work our bodies to their fullest capacity. We are the best, and soon you will be the best. But it looks like you'll need to train before you compete. Danny was intrigued by the idea of a physical fitness challenge. In his mind, he pictured himself flying through the course, catching barbells left and right as they were thrown at him. Take that and that! Although that's not exactly what happened. Here's what really happened. This doesn't look so tough. Let me just... Oh, oh, oh dear, that is very, very heavy. I, I can't lift that. He said it. He said it. You know the drill. One, two, three, four, five. Huh? We do jumping jacks anytime someone says the word can't. One, two, three, four, five. You'll get it, we have a bunch of workout words. It keeps things exciting. Just wait until somebody says the word Israelite. Don't say it! The king assigned them a daily ration of food from his own kitchen. They were to be trained for three years, and after that, they were to enter the king's service. But Danny was determined not to defile himself by eating these, the food given to them by the king. He asked for permission not to not eat these unacceptable foods. I. I can't but help but notice, Helga. One, One two, two, three, four, five. That you're still lifting weights. Yep, gotta keep that heart rate up. She never stops working out. She's our top warrior. Babylon strong! As you know, we are Israelites. That's the word! Israelites! Israelites! One, two, three, four! One, two, three, four! Helga, I would like to respectfully ask that my friends and I not be required to eat the king's food. We have top chefs cooking for us day and night. Best food in Babylon. Why in the world would you say that? Please know that the God of heaven has rules for us to follow. May we be allowed to simply eat vegetables and drink water for the next 10 days? Well, that's a sure way to lose the competition. Gotta have protein. Even so, we are following the rules of the Most High God. Just give us ten days and then see how we do. I don't know. If the king sees you looking weak during the competition, he's going to punish me. Don't worry. Our God will not let us down. He keeps his promises and we depend on him. Ten days passed and it was time for the competition. Danny and his friends had eaten only vegetables, while the Babylonians had eaten like kings. Babylon. Glory be to Babylon. Glory be to Babylon. 
Looks like the new guys are crushing the home team. What is happening? My heart depends upon the one and only God, not the riches or the strength of Babylon. God's in control of everything, no matter how it looks. We will trust. The Babylonians in an unexpected twist have been defeated! The challenge was over and Danny and the Shacks were crowned the winners. They were determined to give God all the glory for the victory. I've got to say, those vegetables did not let you down. How did you do it? It was the most high. He made us strong. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Back to business. As Babylonians, you'll need new names. From now on, you'll be Shadrach, Meshach, and you, Abednego. Anyways, back to push-ups. King Neb was very impressed that Danny and his friends had won the Babylonian warrior challenge. Babylon is strong! I am very impressed with you Israelites. Israelites, Israelites, punch, two, three, four, punch, two, three, four, punch! I can't imagine... One, two, three, four, five! <sighs> How you did it, but you managed to beat my finest people in the Babylonian warrior challenge. Babylon strong! You beat the obstacle course as if it was nothing and all without my chef's finest food. Tell me again, what were your names? I'm Shadrach. I'm Meshach. And I'm... I'm, I'm just going to call you the Shacks. I like that idea. Would you all like to be regular competitors in the competition? You have the strength that it takes. Our strength comes only from Yahweh, the Most High God. We will live and serve here, but please allow us to continue to honor God with what we choose to eat. King Neb agreed, and Danny and his friends continued to quietly follow God and eat the food they knew God wanted them to. In fact, three years later, they were stronger and help, healthier than all the others that had eaten the great food of the kingdom. They chose to have faith and follow God even when it was unpopular. Even when the wisest choice seemed was to eat the king's food so they could be strong. But God blessed them as they lived in a foreign land.
says, Danny and the Shacks had adjusted to their new life in Babylon. Danny and his friends prayed and asked God to give them wisdom to live in this new land. Above all, they continued to trust God that he would take care of them. Danny was placed in a high position and sent off to see oversee operations in various parts of the land. Meanwhile, the king appointed the shacks over a province in Babylon. One day, the king had a big announcement. What a great king I am. Look at all that I have accomplished. All the praise, all the glory goes to me. Just wait until you see what I have built. A 90-foot gold... A 90-foot golden statue of everyone's favorite person, me! All were required when all were required when the beat dropped, they were all required to fall down and worship the statue. Whoever would not would be thrown in the furnace of blazing fire. The shacks had a big problem though. They knew they couldn't bow down to anyone but God. There's no way we're bowing to that thing, right? <laughs> of course not. We can't. One, One two, two, three, four, five. Shacks, shackies, shacksters, shackadoodle-doos. I, I understand you have your own beliefs, but you do know what needs to happen here, right? I mean... It's going to be pretty obvious when everyone is bowing to the statue and you three aren't. Perhaps the king won't mind. He loves us. Maybe he will make an exception. The shacks thought that the king might change his mind. What if he thought that no one should bow him down to the statue at all? They could just imagine. To my loyal Babylonians, I was just talking to my very best friends, the shacks and they have reminded me that there is only one true God. Therefore, I am taking down the statue. We shall all worship the one true God together! Although by now, I bet you realize that that's not what happened. This is what happened. If anyone does not bow down to this 90-foot replica of me, I want them thrown into a blazingly hot furnace. Immediately. You're not thinking this through, Shekizzles. King Neb respects your beliefs. I know for a fact he was impressed with your god. I mean, he helped you win the warrior challenge. Everyone's god. Many people are impressed with God, but just because a person is impressed doesn't mean their life is changed. We don't want to lose you. You will be no use to your God after you've been toasted. If you just make this one compromise, you'll be able to serve God for a long, long time. It's easy to compromise, and it's easy to get caught up in worshiping other, th other things. But we must worship the one true God. We won't bow. Simple as that. I'd like to begin the festivities for a gigantic, enormous worship service for everyone's favorite king around. Me! Welcome to my party. So glad you came. It's a big celebration to praise my name. While you're here, there's something you should know. I almost hate to mention it, but here it goes. Let's all celebrate and have some fun. But before you do anything else, first you gotta bow. Bow down to your king, to the statue of Satan. Bow down, bow down, bow down to your king, bring an offering. Bow down, bow down. Not where we stand if you go with the flow. Show you a mind if you bow down low. Bow down to your king, bow down to your king. Bow down, bow down, bow down. Just do it this once. Compromise. You gotta think of yourself and compromise. The end will justify the means. 
touch if you don't go along, everyone will see. Bow down to your king, to the statue stick. Bow down, bow down, bow down to your king, bring an offering. Bow down, bow down. You never know that you have to bow. If you're gonna change your mind, then you better do it now. On the count of four, you're gonna bow down low. One, two, three, four, bow. God has the power, he is our king, we're gonna stand! There's only one God over everything, we're, we're gonna, gonna stand! stand. He is almighty, Yahweh's his name, we're gonna stand! We worship him and bring him faith, we're, we're gonna, gonna stand. stand! We stand for the one true king, he is the Lord over everything, we stand! For he's the only one, worthy of praise, may his will be done, we stand! For Jehovah reigns, he will rescue us and he will save, we stand! And we will not bow! Or he will deliver us even now. We stand. We stand. And the He is the Lord over everything. We stand. We stand. The only one worthy of praise may his will be done. We stand. We stand. The Lord reigns. He will rescue us and he will save. We stand. We stand. And we will not bow. For he will deliver us even now. We stand. When all was said and done, the shacks did not bow. In fact, they stood tall. Some of the Babylonian, Babylonians were not too happy about the way it turned out. Helga brought up the matter with the king the same following day. Well, they were all planking. Oh, king, your royal muscliness. Did you notice that your favorite Hebrews conveniently forgot to bow at the ceremony when the beat dropped? Those cool cats, the shacks? Are you sure? Yep. Guess they still must be loyal to their god. After all, they are Israelites. Israelites! Israelites! Israelites. One, two, three, four! One, two, three, four! Cut! The nerd! How ungrateful! And after I'd placed them in charge of several provinces in Babylon, too. Bring them here! And so, the shacks were brought before King Neb and given one more chance. I'll give you one more chance to bow down to the magnificent 90-foot golden replica of me. But I'm warning you, if you do not, I shall have you thrown into a blazing inferno. You there, tell him about the fire. Oh, it is so hot, King. You can toast a marshmallow in one second. Pop popcorn in three seconds? And pizza in five. Let's just say you don't want to stand anywhere near it. Much less in it. <laughs> I crack myself up. Our God can deliver us from the fire, but even if he doesn't, he is still more powerful than all your gods. We stand firm. We will not serve the statue or your gods. Pity. I really liked you. Shacks. They were untouched by the heat The Almighty God showed up And cooled them head to feet
Looks like they're having a card. Hey. Cut to what the panels do. So Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were brought out of the fire. And the fire had not burned any part of them. Once again, King Nub was very impressed that God had saved them from the fire. Praise be to the God of the Shacks, who has sent his angel to rescue them. They were willing to give up everything to serve the one true God. Therefore, I decree that if anyone says anything bad about their God, they shall be forced to do uh, 1,000 burpees and 5 million sit-ups. There is no God like theirs. Without his saxophone. King Darius was more interested in music, so he converted the weight room to a palace recording studio where he loved to jam with other musicians, especially Danny. King Darius planned to put Danny in charge over the whole kingdom. Soon Danny would be the most second most powerful musician in all the land. The other musicians did not like that. He's a foreigner, and he's going to rule over us. He doesn't even practice clarinet for seven hours each day. He keeps stopping to pray to his God. I know, right? I've been practicing my vocalizing and warming up, at, like, every second I made. The other leaders tried to find something wrong with Danny because they were jealous that he was so respected but they couldn't find anything to blame him for. So they decided to trick the king into making a law they knew Danny wouldn't follow. I've got an idea. Why not we make a law, or at least explain it to King Darius, that for 30 days straight, we will pray to him as a sign of loyalty. Perfect. And if they don't? Throw him in the lion's den, of course. The lion's den! So they approached the king. Let me get this straight. Everyone will pray to me for the next 30 days. Yep. Not gonna lie. Was that one of you? I love that idea. And just in case King Darius realized it was a trap, they had already written it in the law so it could not be changed. But Danny continued to pray to God three times a day with his windows open so all could see. God, I praise you. You are the one and only true God. My life is always in your hands. Please guide me today as I seek to follow your will and serve you. Amen. Right away, the jealous musicians alerted the king of Danny's action. King Darius realized with horror that he had no choice but to send Danny, but to follow on his decree and send Danny to the lion's den. I'm sorry, Danny. I was tricked into making this decree. May your God, whom you faithfully serve, deliver you from this den of lions. It's all right, King. My God will continue to protect me. We'll jam again. You'll see. And Danny was tossed into a den of lions. i 
satisfaction Knowing all will soon be fine You heard the dinner bell And it's finally supper time Daniel's thrown down certain doom The even gods don't close it like a tomb Trust God to see him through. The lions grin, waiting for a treat. If their tummies were happy, they feel such sweet relief. But to their surprise, it all went south. God sent an angel, God shut their mouth. Jump in and translate. <laughs> Welcome to our home. <laughs> Sorry about the mess. <laughs> but if it's not about her, <laughs> she wants to eat you. Oh, th thank you anyway. I'm just gonna go back over here. Her mouth. and called out. Oh, Danny boy, friend, have you been eaten? May the king live forever. My God sent his angel and he shut the mouths of the lions. They have not hurt me. Hot ding dee dog, this calls for a sex food celebration. The king was overjoyed. <laughs> the king was overjoyed and gave orders to lift Danny out of the den. And when Danny was lifted, no wound was found on him because he had trusted in his God. Danny trusted God in the lion's den. In faith, he believed the impossible. Even if you are living in Babylon, you are still in the presence of Almighty God. For better is one day in his presence than a thousand spent elsewhere.
your door to fear in the house of my God and dwell in the tents of the wicked. For the Lord my God is son and shield, the Lord gives favor and honor. No good thing does he withhold from those who walk his blameless. Blessed is the man who trusts in you. Blessed is the man who trusts in you. He's blessed. She's blessed. She's blessed. He's blessed. She's blessed. You're blessed. You're blessed. I'm blessed. Babylon, a hard place to feel that God is with you. Rest assured that he is near and you can worship him no matter where you are. He will be with you in Babylon. He will be with you in the fire. He will be with you in the den. Look for where God's working. No matter what happens or how horrible it seems to us, God is there right in the middle of it. Even in the midst of difficult times in our lives. God is with us. He is listening, and in faith we stand for him.
This isn't the end of the story. This isn't the end of the story.